In this video, we're going to make a brick wall and then shoot it and uh, blast it apart. So, first we need to make our brick. So, game object, create other, cube. So, here's our brick. Uh, it's not a cube though, it should be a little wider. And I'm going to make it red. So, in I have red here, but to make your own, right click, create, material, and then just red. And you click a color up here. So I click and drag, and here's our red cube. I'm going to call it brick. And you should call it brick too. Um, brick as well, I mean. And so in your assets resources folder, you now need to click and drag. So now we have a cookie cutter or a prefab. And here's our cookie or an instance. So we want to just delete the cookie. We don't need that, just the prefab here. And now we need to write our script. So right click, create, C sharp script, call it brick generator, and open that up. So we don't need update because this is only going to happen once. So in start, we need to load our cookie cutter, capital G, game object. Prefab is what Unity calls a cookie cutter. So resources load brick. So now we have our prefab, what we can use, but we're going to be making a lot of bricks. And when you make, when you do something a lot, that's a for loop, a for for. So we're going to use the variable i. We're going to start i at zero. I is going to go all the way up to nine, so less than ten. I will increase by one each time. Okay. So the stuff in here is going to be that for loop. We actually want another one because this is just sideways on our brick wall. Another one is going to be int height is going to start at zero. Height less than five, eight uh, rather. And then height will increase by one each time. So that's inside here. Now we need to make our brick. Okay, we're going to make a new game object called brick. It's going to be instantiate prefab. So now we have a new brick, but we need to move it to the right place according to i and according to height. So bricks transform its position is going to be a its positions are always a vector 3. A vector 3 is just uh, a way to store three numbers. So in this case, it's our x, y, and z. Okay, so we need three numbers. The x is going to be wherever we are, plus i times 2. And it's times 2 because if we go back here, remember our brick is 2 wide on the x-axis. So if I made it just go over by one, they'd overlap like this. I need to make them go over by two each time to be going far enough over. So it's times two, that's our x. Our y is going to be, no capital T, is going to be, again, where we are, our y plus our height. And then finally, our Z can actually just be, damn, autocomplete is killing me. Can just be our Z. Because every brick that we have is going to be, is going to have the same Z. You know, so these bricks, they all have different X's and Y's, but their Z is all the same because they're on the same wall. So let's see what happens when we run this. Um, we do need a, an empty game object, just something empty to hold our brick generator and make it happen. I'm going to put it right here, right here. I think I also need to raise it just a bit because the, hmm, the height of the cube is actually in its center. So and then finally, the brick, I'm going to make it 
give it a rigid body so that it falls and we'll see what's going on here okay so these bricks are actually just stacked vertically it's not a brick wall okay so what we want to do is go back here there's one thing we got to do so say we have this brick wall here when the number is even it's at the normal spot. When the number is odd, it's actually going to be offset to the left. And that's how we're going to know how we're going to make it a brick wall. So back in the code, our x is going to change depending on the height, if the height is an odd number or not. So we're going to make something called offset. It's going to be height modulo 2. Modulo we'll get the remainder. So 3 divided by 2, there's one left over. So modulo is going to be 1. 4 divided by 2, there's 0 left over. It fits, so there's a remainder of 0. So that's perfect. An even number, this will be 0. Odd number, that'll be 1. And we'll just pop it in here. Now when we press play, we'll have a brick wall. There you go. And I made a really big one just for fun. Yeah.